Okay, here's a closer look. So you can see how he kind of just painted it on there. And it's... Eh. If you've seen my other... My 78 Iceman, it looks exactly like the album cover. And it's here, because I got EMGs. This guy just painted over a regular pickup. So look at Paul's arm. <laughs> If you can see it, I don't know if you can, but quite funny. But, you know, if I was in high or junior high or whatever, when I was still in art class and painting, this is what it would have looked like. And like I said, that one looks better. But, figure, oh, before I get rid of this one, let's play something on it. I don't even know if it plays. So I figured I should check that out before I, you know, give it to anybody. <laughs> So I got this guitar today, and it was typically all the strings were tuned down because there's this myth that if you don't tune the strings down, it'll screw the neck up or it's easier to break. I don't know what the hell it is. Absolutely not true. If you're shipping a guitar and it's going to just be a few days, a week, do not detune the strings. Keep them as they are because then the neck gets all jacked up. So when you get it, you got to tune it and then wait for the neck to adjust. So there you go. Because I got this today. Look at that. I can see the light. When the light hits it, it's just, you can see the paint strokes. <laughs> okay, well, I hope my cousin likes this. Um, yeah, do not detune your guitars if you're shipping them. Or if you're just storing them. I don't. Look how many I got. That last count, I wasn't, it's about, I've given away a lot, and I've sold a, a, quite a few, so I'm around 103, I think. Not all in one place, either. Never anybody think that. It's all over, three states, four different places. <laughs> You're probably going, one, that sucked, <laughs> and two, why is he playing it two different ways? The way I learned it was... <laughs> to see Kiss and Ace really close, he wasn't playing like that. All in one little box. And he doesn't start the song, so he really doesn't... He play. He can play it. I don't really know it. It's, it's all up here. Paul, and then Ace comes in.
Sound too bad. I gotta give it to him. I already told my wife. <laughs> that just shocked me. Go boom, 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 boom. I can't remember. thinking why is he playing it like that because that's the way I was taught it when I was 13 years old and they don't play it like that they play it up here and I don't know even know how it goes never learned kiss songs I learned strutter and well I know of like four of them on bass because we had to fill up a set once and we used like four kiss songs shock me strutter and some other ones. Deuce and something else. Okay, I'm going to play this song one more effing time. And if you guys don't know what it is, come on and dance by my crew. I'm going to kick your ass in. So tell me what song I'm playing. And it's probably going to suck because this is a weird neck. It's still doing its thing. So just listen. <laughs> It's his neck. Wow, it's, it's weird. It's a, you know, Epiphone Studio. Yes. I mean, I always blame it on the neck. That's a, it's an easy song to play, but Mick does these weird things. You think, that's eh, easy. Sounds like he's tripping over the neck. It's not easy to play. <laughs> I used to be able to do that lick really easy, but I don't do it anymore, so now it's so, not so easy. What else you want to hear, huh? I can't play that, sorry. So this is it. Nothing on the back. This is on the front. It's a spoof, I guess, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But this is the last time you're going to ever see this guitar in a video with me. So I figure this is it. The Ace Love Gun guitar that I won on eBay that's going to my dear cousin. And there you go.
<laughs> See ya. Oh, subscribe and comment. Cut you gotta comment on this. Jeez Louise. Pepper cheese. Lates. Ace. Dean Peter Paul. Ace. Dean Peter Paul. <laughs> Later.